love Minecraft. You want to know why? Because what the heck is happening here? <laughs> this thing is complete nonsense. Like, come on. If you see an animal with mushrooms growing out of it, that means it's been deceased for a very long time. I mean, the last thing you should do is walk up to it with a bowl and generate an infinite supply of full meals for yourself. <laughs> I mean, it's delicious, but like, uh, yikes. <laughs> I love that Minecraft makes zero sense, so I asked you on my community tab about the most confusing parts of Minecraft. This comment from Pixel Ninja 78 is the only one I've read so far. <laughs> you, should, you should do that second part. You should totally do that. Sorry, weird thing in my throat. So let's dig into the weirdest, most confusing things about our favorite sandbox game. Psst. Hey, it's me. The guy from Narfi's second channel. I'm not really supposed to be here since this is a main channel video, but I wanted to tell you about Narfi's partnership with Apex Gaming PCs, and it's totally just because I need to, and, and not because I wanted a way to get into a main channel video. Why would you think that? Stop thinking that. That's weird. If you've been feeling like the hardware in your current computer just doesn't make a lot of sense for gaming, then I highly recommend you take a look at Apex Gaming PCs. They've got an excellent selection of hardware for you to choose from, and we've gone ahead and put together three preset tiers of computers for you to start with. Not really me, though. It was mostly Narfi that kind of put those together. I'm just kind of here. They've got great performance in modern games, and they use hardware from trusted component manufacturers. Plus, if you don't like the specs of the ones that Narfi chose, you can customize your build with the Apex configurator to cater to your needs. Head to the link down below. Ooh. I mean, head to the link down below in the description and use code NARFI at checkout for up to $250 off your purchase. That's a pretty good deal. Okay, that's all from me. I'm gonna go before NARFI suspects anything and has to edit me into the video. Okay, bye-bye. What the? What the heck? Uh... That was weird. The fact that jumping on crops breaks them, but jumping does not break redstone dust. I mean, the part of like breaking crops like this does kind of make sense. Trampling farmland, I guess that makes sense. But it is kind of weird that this is the only thing that that happens to. The example they gave is the redstone dust part, but uh, honestly, I think this is one of the least confusing ones. Because look, leaves exist. Last time I made a pile of leaves in my backyard, I don't think I was able to do this. <laughs> look, I'm jumping on leaves. Wow, look, I'm building up a tall tower of leaves. This is confusing. I mean, look at this. How does this make sense? <laughs> this trampling mechanic, though, would make a lot of sense for grass. Because this block exists, the dirt path. And a path by nature is trampled dirt and it even looks like it's trampled grass so like why doesn't grass turn into dirt paths like i don't I don't <laughs> this grass also doesn't break if i jump on it string doesn't break when i walk through it in fact string floats so why does the trampling mechanic exist at all it doesn't make any sense but hey that's what we're here for. So there's like loads of water in a bucket and steve casually drinks that amount of milk in one bloop 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 that is a lot of water. And this water fits in a bucket. So that is a lot of milk. <laughs> and I could just... Lactose intolerance beware. And sure, I guess there's limited, you know, liquid carrying vehicles in Minecraft. But uh, the glass bottle also exists. And last time I checked, you can't make, uh, you know, a milk bottle, which is the one that makes a lot of sense. But you can make a water bottle that you can drink. So like, what, like, what's, like, what's, what's going on here? That is a lot of milk, and that's considerably more reasonable sized. So like, swap them. <laughs> right? Like, does that make sense? Like, I feel like I feel like that would make more sense than a bucket of milk. That's a lot of milk, man. I, I'm gonna I'm gonna be dead. I mean, no wonder it washes off poison effects. It just completely cleans out your entire system. That's a lot of milk. Petition to add milk bottle to the game, please. <laughs> it is the thing that used dyed leather armor on a water culture removes the color and doesn't change the color of the water, especially on Bedrock Edition. Yeah, Bedrock has this weird feature where you can like you know dye the water and then you use leather and you can dye your leather armor with it. I don't know, it's a little it's a little weird, but like then you can just take that same leather armor and then like wash it off in this one. But no dye is left over. You have to like physically dye the water. Like I don't I don't get it. How do you do how do you how do you do Also bedrock's weird because there's three layers of water but like six layers of dye? <laughs> I don't really understand these mechanics at all. Because on Java edition it's just like the cauldron and then and then you just you can't you can't do anything with the dye. You gotta like dye the stuff in here, but you can still use up the water here like this, but there's still only three levels. I don't, I don't understand. Parody is weird. Dying things is weird. Undying things is weird. I don't, I, I don't know. What do you think, cow? 
All right, cool, good talk. I think the weirdest yet most vanilla thing that's always goofy to see in Minecraft is how it chunk generates some of the coolest yet confusing seeds. Each time we get amazed on how Minecraft generates its world in the most unnatural ways. I think this seed right here is a prime example, even though it's like absolutely gorgeous. Like check this out, snow, 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 forest, snow, snow, snow. <laughs> and then in the middle of it, it's just, it's just cherry. But then there's also some cherry over there and then more forest. And this is the only snow you would think like, you know, maybe like a snowy tundra nearby or something but no it's just a it's just a ring of snow like this is even all that high up it's like really really close to just regular normal weather oh look yeah of course there's there's more snow over there right yeah yeah that makes total sense but there's a prime example of why I love Minecraft because it doesn't make any sense it's absolutely gorgeous <laughs> sometimes the things in Minecraft that don't make any sense are also the things that make the most sense the most sense in the, in the context of Minecraft not in the, mo the context of like the world but like in the context of Minecraft they make a lot of sense. Also, check out this cave. Oh, this guy, this guy's going on an adventure. What are, <laughs> where are you going? The fact that sometimes when you place a torch too fast below a bunch of gravel blocks, the torch doesn't destroy the blocks. <laughs> gravity? What's that? I don't, I don't, I don't subscribe to gravity. Is that like a new music track or something? Like a car or something? Gravity? I don't, I hardly know her. Gra gravity? Uh, no, you, your Gravity? More like, uh, 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 flu, flu, nose. Gravity more like, more like, no, not vibby. We're gonna just, we're just gonna, we're gonna move on to the next one. When water touches lava, it becomes obsidian. When lava touch water, it becomes cobblestone. Lava pool, water. Obsidian. Water pool, lava. Not obsidian. Hmm. I'm not entirely sure how this works. Also, there's a different block when you touch lava with flowing water, I think. Yeah, lo flowing and flowing is just, it's cobblestone, but, but flowing on regular is is stone and then regular on this is obsidian i don't what how wh where is where what how do all three of these blocks get made from the same chemical makeup just like just like pick one you know i think obsidian's the best one they should really all make obsidian like i think that would make sense and then you can get infinite obsidian and that would be really cool and then you could like place a bunch of obsidian everywhere and wreak havoc and then people wouldn't be able to get out of places and then maybe Maybe I should stop talking. Where's the logic? The fact that a creeper being shot by a skeleton drops a music disc. Where did the creeper store it? And why is it only when a skeleton shoots it? Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Come on, come on, get him, get him. Oh, you were so close, you were so close. Oh, skeletons, come on, come on. Ah, no! Oh. Come on, hit him, come on, hit him, come on. You can do it, you can do it, you can do it. Yes, yes! <laughs> there's a spider, there's a spider, they're gonna kill me. Get him, get him, get him, get him, get him, get him. No, 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 no! Get him, yes, yes! Go that way, go that way, no, 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 no! Uh. Over there, yep, uh-huh, yep. Why are you shooting each other? Just, just shoot, just shoot the creeper. Just shoot, no, no, not, no. There, yes, yes, that was good. I need to run. We're so close. Yes, yes. No, why are you such a bad shot? Yes! Yes! I'm out. I'm running. Goodbye. See you later. That makes total sense. Stop it. Go away. Go away. Yeah, I don't know where the creeper was was holding that. I don't I don't get it. They're just found in the world. Where did they come from? Who made these? Are 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 creepers are creepers DJs? They have some hidden life that we just we just don't know about. But the skeletons know. The skeletons are gonna get the music for us. The skeletons are the real MVPs. This villager's like, what is this guy rambling on about in my house? <laughs> I'm sorry, man, I'll leave, okay? The fact that you could just make more electricity by just placing a repeater. I mean, redstone in general is just kind of weird. This is like technically just a gemstone of some sort, and it has a dust that you like, you'll like put the dust on the ground and it carries a signal. But like, if you're running out, you just put this down and suddenly there's more? But, like, is this thing a generator or what? Because, like, when you don't power it, it doesn't have power. So then that's that's just weird. But then also, if you give this power, then it, it stops having power? Wouldn't you just, like, double power it? Man, Redstone, uh, what, what's happening here? Who did this? Also, the raw mineral uh, lights up, but this... That block doesn't generate any light, and like neither does this naturally. So like, why does this? Why does this do that? I don't understand. Matt Batwig's purplers and crafty masterman. 
They're all just geologists. <laughs> we figured it out, guys. We know what they actually do. You all need to go to their channels and put a comment on their videos that just said, Narfeed thinks you're a geologist. <laughs> Lava in a cauldron isn't affected when put in underwater. A little bonus, if you stand in the cauldron while underwater, you'll still take damage. Oh boy, back to cauldrons. So here we are with an underwater cauldron. As you can tell, it's not filling with water. <laughs> oh no, because that wouldn't make any sense for it to do that. So instead, we'll just fill it with lava because... Because reasons. <laughs> but heaven forbid you put the lava outside of this magical iron protective chassis. Boop. Yeah, that's... <laughs> What'd you expect? The only way to put lava underwater is out, 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 out. Uh, Logic. <laughs> Side note, wouldn't this be an amazing way to get crying obsidian? Like, think about it. That would be so handy. And it makes total sense because it's obsidian that's underwater. Ow, I'm drowning. It's quite illogical where villagers get their supply from if you trap them. And you've never seen villagers mining emeralds or gathering rare stuff either. I don't know how, but I've never really thought about this. Where do the villagers get their stuff from. I mean, obviously the farmers, they have their farms, right? Like this, this makes sense. You trade things that you could grow. You make sense. You're fine. But you, sir, where the heck did this come from? I don't think I've ever seen an enchanting table in a village. Where are you getting your wares, huh? Where are you getting them? The only things you guys should be selling is stuff you're growing or going out and getting. None of these guys even go into caves. Except for that one guy earlier. So maybe, maybe, maybe they do. <laughs> maybe that one guy just completely proved us wrong. <laughs> you make a really good point though with like trapped villagers and being able to restock. Where are they getting supplies from? I don't, I don't understand. Are all villagers just like wizards that can just conjure up stuff at will? There's a conspiracy afoot. Mm. Awfully suspicious, eh? You've got something going on and I'm sure someone will figure it out. But not me, I'm moving on to my next comment. Bye bye Have fun in your obsidian cage. You're not gonna do anything about this, right? You're chill? All right, he's chill. You can place a cactus on a cactus, but when you throw a cactus item onto a cactus block, it dies. Also, when you throw a cactus item on another cactus item, it's perfectly fine. Cactus opens up a whole can of worms. Because yes, when you place cactus on cactus, it's fine, but when you throw an item at another cactus, it gets deleted. And yes, two uh, cactus items on the ground are totally fine, but get this, cactus aren't even consistent with mob damage. Because yeah, cactus damages villagers. It damages pretty much every mob, but also, Camels eat it, but then also camels get to get they get damaged by it uh, when they're just on it So what where's what you get in a cactus you stand on your meal you embrace this I don't understand it I never will. The fact that the Minecraft world is supposedly infinite, yet the day-night cycle has zero problem taking place. Yeah, that is weird. The Minecraft world extends infinitely. Like, that's a whole selling point of Minecraft, is that there's just infinite terrain. Which implies that the Minecraft world doesn't end, right? But it also implies that that it doesn't end. There's no way to go around the entire Minecraft world and come back to where you started. So how does the sun do it? The sun has no problem going behind the horizon, but that only happens when there's a horizon to go behind. And if the Minecraft world is infinite, then the sun doesn't have anything to go down behind. It would just ram into the ground somewhere. So are the sun and the moon just like, ramming into the ground and then going down underneath the, all of this and then coming back up? Should there be a giant hole in the ground where the sun and the moon go through the earth? Is there a place where the sun and the moon are on the same side of the sky? So many questions, not enough answers. So one of two ultimatums has to happen. Either the Minecraft world isn't infinite and Minecraft is lying to us, or the sun and the moon just plow through the ground. Which I honestly like the second option more because I think it's funny. <laughs> Minecraft as a planet doesn't make any sense. I don't understand. The fact that you can breathe on lava, but not water. Yeah, this is weird. If I just uh, sit here, I'll die. But if I just drink this magical potion and then jump in here, I'm fine down here. Like, I don't need to breathe. Breathing is, breathing is a, isn't needed down here. In fact, lava is so rich with oxygen that I could sit down here as long as I wanted to. Breathing is uh, simply a construct of our imagination. I like to imagine that I need to breathe. My imagination is so crazy vivid. It's wild. It's so crazy, man. It's so wild. Yup. That's a weird one. And in light of all that, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. <laughs>